Dear viewers, in today's sitting, we will talk about the differences between seed and grain. They, these are actually not too much different, but just a technical difference. And we will try to clarify to all our viewers the differences. So we will start the discussion about that. Especially in case of the cereals, in case of the cereals, seed or grain may be the overlapping or maybe the different. For example, in different contexts, we can say the same thing as a seed or same thing as a grain, especially in case of cereals. We will try to further understand that particular difference under which we will say the same thing as a seed or same thing as a grain. First of all, the very general and the basic difference, seed is always as used as a unit of reproduction. Seed is used for sowing and for getting the next generation of the crop. Whereas the grain is concerned, the seed of cereals is called as grain. And secondly, the grain is basically used as food only and not used for sowing or reproduction purposes. Seed is capable of producing an other plant as we sow it, it germinate, establish into the seedling and the next whole generation we can get it from the seed. But in case of the grain, it may be or may not be used as to reproduce the next plant. Because in case of the cereal seed, that is called grain, we can use it as a food or we can also use it for sowing purpose. Another difference is seed actually belongs to every flowering plant family. See, uh, gymnosperms also produce the seed, but those are naked, not covered inside the fruit. But especially, we will talk here, here we will talk about the flowering plants. In those case, they produce seed. But the grain actually only belongs to the grass family. And generally, seed has three basic components, embryo, endosperm, and seed coat. Whereas, grain has four components. Cereal grains has four components. That is embryo, endosperm, seed coat, and bran. So bran is an additional component in grain that is not present in other seed types. And other difference is fruit usually cover the seed in flowering plants, but in case of the grains, fruit wall and seed coat are fused. And the technical term used for this is called caryopsis. In case of caryopsis, fruit wall and seed coat are fused together. And in another difference is endosperm is used as food in case of the seed, whereas caryoptic fruit is used as food in case of grain. Another important difference is of viability, as viability is important for seed because we have to grow it for the next generation, we have to sow it, whereas viability is not important for the grain because we have not to use it for reproduction purpose and we can also use, we have, we can use it for food only. As the seed is concerned, uh, we can treat it with the chemicals or the fungicides because we, when we have to sow it, it can get infected by the soil microbes 
so to give it protection during the germination process it can be treated with the chemicals but whereas in case of grain when we have to use it for the food purpose it it cannot be treated in any ways so the when we talk about the examples we can say maize wheat rice or the oat the caryopteric fruit as a seed when we have to use it for sowing purpose and we can say maize wheat rice or the oat caryopteric fruit as a grain when we have to use it for food purpose and another example oil seed crops are having the seed vegetable seeds vegetable crops are producing the seeds but these types don't we say it as a grain so this is the whole story of the difference between seed and grain thank you very much